one. And of course, both Trick and Emperor, the two players that were brought onto G2 for the LCS, they were imported. No, uh, you know, this is how Rocket started to win the game yesterday with an invade with the assist. Trick is in trouble. He gets booted backwards. Airwax and Eddie, they get the first blood. Side of the map, bottom river looking for Sophia here. In goes Hybrid. Hybrid's gonna tag Edward up. One, two, three. The fourth will stun. It does. Eddie's being stacked with those rins, and Emperor will find the kill. A, a big, big factor though. That is one of the global presences now. Oh, oh, down perks oh, in the mid lane. Betsy's overloading. Rune prison, wild growth. Flash away. There's no flash for Betsy. He's ghosting in, and Betsy. He was actually lower on health before that even started. Bot lane though. Well, Eddie's gonna be stunned out here by Edward again. Trick is just repeating the gank. He will knock Hybrid under the tower, but... The Rune King just to try and get through the Dr. Mundo and the rest of the Rockat lineup. It could end up good for them, but... Ooh! Severe, very low bottom lane. Perks, oh, oh, double flash! It's action everywhere. Perks is not gonna get away from this one. He's got no flash. Glitterlance doesn't matter. And Rocket have got a kill. Now they'll be available shortly. And he's been the target for uh -oh. the two previous kills, but Airwax wants to come in. Teleport comes out from Freddy, and Perks will be left for dead. Wild Growth should just interrupt the inevitable once it gets used. The Fates Call will pull uh, Hybrid backwards. He goes back in to knock Sapphire up. Hybrid continues to burn low. Wild Growth has been used onto Emperor, the damage dealer, as Betty gets turned into a cute little munchkin. He gets kicked under the tower, and Lamb Jespin is going to keep everybody alive. The heal will pop. Is coming to play. He wants to work with Kickers. Kickers will swallow Freddy's Mundo, and here's the masochism and sadism burning away. Freddy's trying to run out. He gets stunned and just comboed down. The region <laughs> is good, but I don't know if it's enough. Stunned again. Kickers in Trick just running him down. Leeson style that we saw in North America. We'll talk about that in a moment. Hybrid is going to find a stun into Freddy. Freddy is going to have a ton of spears stacking into him, but he's going to regen for such a long time. Blade of the Rune King's been used, as has the Fates Call. Ren stack is continuing to build. It's going to be huge. <laughs> wow. He is just gone. Now Betsy wants to run Kickus down. And they've got Saphir as well. Airwax just 3 2. He has his ult. just can get to Airwax. He might be able to do Ooh. something. Can't even. Kills are sitting with Emperor right now. One additional one to kick is. It's going to be interesting to see how they play out this next mid game. Four pink wards. Four. Teleported onto a ward. Airwax is going to put down uh, Wolf's Frenzy. And Kikis is looking to eat somebody. The Fisher goes out and splits up the team fight, but there's no further stun. Lamb's Respite comes out. Airwax will get kicked out, and that means he can get killed. Perks finds it. Follow Perks as well as Emperor. He's the man that needs to win this 4G2. Eddie's going low. Shutdown kill as Kikis finds one. That's a double. The Kench is looking for more. Get in my belly is what he's yelling. Saf is going to get dropped as Perks... There is still damage from Perks. It's not all about the utility. That is just the primary role. Oh, Airwax getting dropped low. Tricks into the enemy base. He's been kicked on the wrong side. Sonic Wave won't find its target. In this middle lane, G2 already taking the inhibitor tower. You started a base race 4v1 with the Mundo. G2 have cracked open the base. They haven't backed away yet. Freddy's going to finish his recall, but it's going to be too late. G2 will be... No, they haven't got the inhibitor yet. Hybrid is going to use the Glacial Fisher. Inhibitor still stands. Perks is going low. He's forced to back away. He doesn't have wild growth either. Betsy's looking for Emperor. Emperor's running for oh, his he's life. Alone. So for teams, for Rocket, is it going to be too little? Are they going to be able to take this? Let's take a look. Emperor's looking for more gray health. Is being used for kick. It's the Baron's Ooh. stop. It's a 3v5. Six got one. Kickers has got another before he goes down himself. Emperor's looking to hop, to skip, to jump, to kill. He's got another. And all of a sudden, G2 find four more kills. Emperor is not done yet. Freddy's forced to run away. He's lobbing that paperwork, but it may not be enough. Emperor tries to life skill his way up. He's going to be able to use that martial poise, and he finds the ace. Rocket just umming and ahhing around this objective that we know has become a trap for teams. Now it's G2 that secure the Baron. That was an easy attack here. <laughs> he just stood in auto attack range and was left to do his job for free and did it uncontent. And Emperor, he's a 506, has been able to just clean up these fights very well, has been in trouble a couple of times. Oh, Fate's Call knocks up members of Rocket and the Fisher slows them down. There is no retreat when G2 set their sights on you. Freddy's going to stay alive from the Lambs Respite as Emperor shuts down Airwax. The tower will drop shortly in just a few moments and another inhibitor will follow. 
Ah, uh, this might be game. There's Baron empowered minions. We're 23 minutes in. G2 won yesterday in 25, and they want to break that record today. They were down 4,000 gold, and G2 break open the Nexus turret, knock down the second, and go undefeated in week two. What a performance! Eventually! <laughs> Great stuff out of G2, <laughs> and you know, a dead Eddie and Freddy means this game is in the bag for G2 at this point. It, it's for a, ch a lineup that came out of challenging.